Hi, welcome back. So here's today's disappointing update for today's racing. Now, I was hoping it was going to be one of my half-decent days or one of my better days for the first video. But unfortunately, all I'm going to show you is the reason why you bet small is because you lose small. So let's kick into it. So our first one here is Salamanca Bay. Uh, I can't remember what the odds were, but I'll pull that page up now. And as you can see, a choice of two horses and I chose the wrong one. The reason why I chose the wrong one is because the other one wasn't worth betting on. So as you can see, second place, no wins for second on this one. So as you can see, Etalon or Etalon was one to six and uh, Salamanca Bay was four to one. So one to six means for every six pounds you put on, you will win one pound back. You put 60 pounds on to win a tenner. Guaranteed odds almost, but not always, which is why I bet on the outsider. Um, but yeah, that was uh, pretty much, you need to be a rich person to bet on that horse. I mean, you need to stick 600 quid on to win 100 quid. Really, not worth it. Forget it. Okay, so our next horse was called Sexton. 18 to 1. It was going to run, I think, at about 20 to 1. 150 each way. Uh, but 20 to 1, that's 30 quid for the win. Plus 6 quid for the place, fifth of the odds. 36 plus my 3, 39 pound. I stood to win on that. Sexton didn't want to play. Two years off it's had this horse. It's done nothing but eat shit and sleep for two years. Comes back to a racetrack and it's like no way Jose. So as you can see, it's a non-runner. So that was a disappointment. Both the Boyle Sports and the At The Races predictors both said this horse was going to rob home. We'll never know. Okay, so next was one of my favourites. Tedley, 115, Warwick. Six to one, two pounds each way. Two pound for a win, two pound for a place. Uh, as you can see, we had one non-runner, two were pulled up and one fell. So I've done this one in two pages because of the overlap. Uh, you can see Tedley in fourth and it was a three place race. So no cigar. Uh, Tedley's last race, he came second. So I had high hopes for this horse to either place or win. And unfortunately, he didn't. Okay, so our next horse was Martha Bray. Now you don't get halves in the odds. You don't get seven and a half to one, eight and a half to one. It goes into a two. So sometimes you'll see a hundred to thirty or whatever. Um, Martha Bray was seven to one, and she crossed the line at fifteen to two. So basically seven and a half to one. Again, fourth, ridden by Harry Skelton, trained by Dan Skelton, and I think they had a couple of winners or places today for sure. I definitely see him win the next race on a really badly odd horse, and it's something like flipping eight, eight to five, or I don't know, it was fucking stupid money anyway. So, yeah, that was another disappointment. If uh, Martha Bray and Tedley had both placed, I'd have got today's money back, and if either one of them had won, I'd have doubled me money today and if one did the win and one did the place or both did the win whatever happened if both placed it would have been a happy day never mind now our next horse is carbon king um i didn't have my connect card with me i've mentioned this in one of the earlier videos this is your coral connect this guarantees you the best odds he says throwing it on the table carbon king when i put the bet on at 1335 and 13 seconds precisely i had odds of 50 to 1 35 p each way i just cleaned up a couple of coins loose in my pocket 70 pence bet 50 to 1. if i'd have had this with me as you can see from the um what's it Right, if you look at the results page, you'll see that Carbon King crossed the line at 66 to 1. So by not having this with me, if he'd have won, or even placed, I'd have lost 16 to 1 by not having this with me. 
because I'd have still got the 50 to 1 on my bet slip, not the 66 to 1 in which it ran at. It costs nothing. So, um, yeah, Carbon King, dead last. Look at the odds. It was complete outsider. That was bet on with the vain hope that you never know. Sometimes the outsider comes home. Love a lot better. 150 to 1. So, Lily Blue, here's one to watch. She's only ridden once before, and that was the seventh, so there was hope she was going to improve. She improved by one place and came six. Uh, backed it at 40 to one. I think she ran at 125 to one. 75 p each way. If she'd have crossed the line, it would have been like 120 quid, 100 quid or something. If she'd have placed, it would have been the best part of 20 quid. Um, so, there wasn't a lot of scope. This is going to be one of my favorite horses because it's called Lily and I've got a section A called Lily um, so she will stay in my favorites but yeah there's room for improvement but she's a very green horse she's done a seventh and a six this was over two miles hurdles I think she's probably more of a chaser a mile and a half mile four furlongs so we'll wait we'll keep we'll, we'll see as we go throughout the year so I'm going to do these videos regular now um, we'll see throughout the year how that horse does. Right, so the last race was Warwick at 4.05 or 16.05. The big horse in this race was Yala Habibi, but it was a non-runner. That would have walked it. It literally would have cantered across the line, I reckon. Uh, the horse I had in this one was called Bathgate. I don't know why I liked it, but I did. It was predicted to come about fifth or sixth, I think, so... There was no high hopes for this horse at 100 to 1. It ran at 150 to 1. And as you can see, there was no high hopes. It came second to last behind Miss Cassiope. And that was ridden by Tabitha Worsley. Um, Tabitha is quite a good jockey, S. So, I mean, Miss Cassiope was 200 to 1. So if that did come home, somebody would have had a bloody good day. Uh, yeah, so that's it for today's horses, really. Um, nothing exciting. Tedley let us down a little bit. Sextant let everybody down full stop. Um, Lily Baloo didn't do any worse than anticipated. Didn't do as well as I hoped. But, like I said, she's a green horse. And perhaps she's not in the right environment yet. I mean, get her out of hurdles and put her into a chase and see how she does. Get her out of two miles, put her in a mile, mile and a half, see how she does. Mile, mile and a half, she's got something in her. Um, but we'll see. She had a bad start. It's only her second race, so there's nothing really to work on there yet. And it's a crappy time of the year for the ground at the moment. I mean, I did really well in the summer, so who knows? We'll see. So that's it for today's racing. Um, I don't really think there's anything on tomorrow's. The only horse I would really, that I can remember, I have looked quickly. I think it's Lingfield and the only horse that I would write home about at Lingfield tomorrow would be Devizes. That's it for this video. Remember, bet safely. Bet small, win small. You win small, but you lose little. Go and stick 100 quid on a horse and lose it. You cry. Go and stick a pound on a horse and lose it. What the hell? Put a pound on a hundred horses and lose it. I doubt that's going to happen. You're going to have at least eight winners. Happy days. Stay safe. Be lucky.